Hello everyone, welcome to channel Geek Nepal. Today I will be exploring the IDEC PLC programming software platform. WindyAlier is the software that is used to program the IDEC PLCs. I already have opened the software so let me close this. Uh, let me open this from taskbar. Oftentimes you might not see the window that you intend to see so in such case go to the view tab uh, select some of the window here that you need okay drop it down here let's select the project window you can see some of the work area okay toolbar so let's go to the home tab basically there are some of the instructions that you will be using basic instructions advanced okay text draw line convert download this kind of things if you have been using the Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, it's pretty much the same thing. The concept is pretty much the same. There are a couple more different buttons, uh, ribbons that is a little bit different from the application that is used for the Word. Okay. Let's go to the configuration tab here. Let's choose one of the PLC. Let's say here. Okay. So this PLC only supports ladder logic. It does not support the function block diagram, okay? Anyway, you can also choose the PLC from the lower left corner here. And if you select this, uh, if you see this PLC supports both ladder logic and function block diagram, okay? You can connect the PLC using the USB, Ethernet, uh, and the serial port, okay? Serial communication. That's what you are choosing here okay and onto the tag editor let's say if you are using the input uh, you can pretty much define the input based on your schematic design uh, let's say here I have a switch on and off right on and off oh I mean on slash off on the comment that's how you can add your inputs and outputs okay same thing with the output you can do that internal mem memory internal relay special register timer register this kind of things are already up here so basically IDEC PLC worked based on the different registers there are many registers that has been defined that has been given the address that you will use and write a programs okay here you see this TML that's the timer register for one second timer and if you multiply that by 10 that would be 10 second timer that's such kind of thing yeah so TU is the single output op which is a rising age trigger or the uh, if you have seen uh, trigger uh, rising age or falling age trigger or one shot uh, that's what it is all about uh, okay set reset quill basic instructions macros false uh, move you can move the data integer move the like whole old or those kind of things okay data comparison uh, command here you can do the arithmetic addition subtracts and those kind of things so there are many of the registers and commands that you'll be using to program this PLC okay let's go to the expansion modules you have a PLC here but if you want to add some more inputs if the application has a large number of inputs and outputs that you will have to add this module this is eight inputs module this one is 32 okay this one is 16 let's add 16 or oh, this is just drag and drop okay similarly for the output drag and drop okay that's how you add inputs and outputs it's in my module hold on so if you want to delete this right click remove if you click here right click remove you can do that R right click remove okay so that's how you add module again uh, 
it is based on the design and application that you will be using if it is a bigger application you might have a large number of inputs and outputs okay the analog IO module uh, is used if you are measuring the temperature from the temperature sensor uh, it's a continuous data it's analog okay it's not digital just on and off uh, like digital input and outputs that's when you use analog module connected to the sensor or the pump pressure you know those kind of continuous data uh, you grab or the flow meter that you grab the data uh, in terms of the voltage or the 4 to 20 milliamps current those kind of things and convert that to the the temperature real in a, or floating point value okay let's close this here let's close the module configuration onto the configuration you can see different buttons here this is used to configure the PLC as we already talked before this every inputs outputs memory bits are based on the registers that you will be using okay so let's say if you are using this re register one close so that will that will be used to stop the input use stop input okay that uh, to control this device uh, you can do the memory backup all the mem of the memory registers data registers those kind of things input configuration your input could be different like for example for an example uh, it might be a normal input on and off uh, it might be a fast output input uh, frequency measurement uh, this could be high speed, uh, high speed counter, encoder, okay, those kind of things. You can select one of that. That's how you do that, okay. And on the communication port, we already, I think, looked at it. Uh, you can use the RS-485 or RS-232 that's being used to communicate between the, let's say, the VFD and the PLC, those kind of things, okay device settings uh, you are using the 32 bit data or 16 bit data if you have heard about the little Indian or big Indian that's when it would be used okay program protection you can program protect the data using the password okay so you can do that uh, you can create your own password new password confirm password this also has a self-diagnostic watchdog timer, which means that the timer resets if the main program is not working. That's watchdog timer, okay? You can set up the clock, calendar, date and time, enable daylight saving, you can do that. We already did the network settings there. If you are using the Ethernet communication, using the internet protocol IP address, you can set up the address of the PLC. Access control is basically you if you have the user label one to three, or if you have the admin or the operator, uh, you can provide them the username, the password, what screen they can use on the um, human machine interface or the graphical user interface. Okay. Okay. Let's close this. So basically, we went over the. Uh, function of function or like configuring the device okay that's what we did so let's go back these buttons are also located here at function area settings these are the same thing up here and here okay expansion modules um, if we add the expansion module here you will see it will add up here on the slot 1 slot 2 and slot 3 that's how it will be added let me remove that away remove this at this time under the programs on the main program uh, we will write the program okay and the good part about this IDIC PLC is it has a web page server this is a local host you can connect it to the web page uh, it's pretty fancy uh, I really enjoy watching adding these images labels radio buttons and all those Okay, it's pretty much exciting, uh, which we will go in details in the upcoming days as well. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do trend. Okay, and you see here. All right, so if the temperature is rising or decreasing, you will see the live data. Uh, you can do that, right? 
So, okay, dog, those kind of things. Let's close this. IDIC also supports the backnet, backnet communication, uh, which is used for building automation and control, um, which we will be working on in the coming days as well. All right. So let's go to online features. Download is a button when the program is should be downloaded from the PC, desktop, or laptop to the PLC. Upload is uploading the program from the PLC to the PC, okay? When you have the program written, you can simulate that. All all the things will be grayed out, all buttons, okay? In that case, onto the view here. Um, info just add this down here so you can increase the number of columns line width those kind of things here uh, and the font you can change that as well those kind of things wrong width okay for right now it's 11 minutes already so I'll stop it here so in overall we had a basic uh, overview of the IDEC PLC programming software which I hope you enjoy watching this video as much as I created this for you I've been learning and uh, instructing this course I hope you enjoy the must thank you very much bye bye